Hello friends, in this video we are going to install the most beautiful distro in 2023 which is Debian OS and the version which you are going to install is 20.8 You can download it from their official site or I'll also give a link in the description below where you can download the ISO file This video is divided into two parts The first part will be to create an installation medium and the second part will be to dual boot it with Windows so without wasting any time, let's begin the first step. For that, you'll need some prerequisites, which is a pen drive of at least 8GB and the ISO file of the Deepin OS and you'll also need a tool to flash the ISO file to the pen drive. For that, I usually use Fedora Media Writer. I don't have any specific reason to use it. Since I'm using it from the very start, I like to use it. You can also download and use Etcher 2 which is an awesome alternative tool. Now just open the software and click on custom image. Then select the ISO image which you have downloaded. Then choose the flash drive and just click on write to disk. It will take around 5 to 10 minutes depending on your pen drive's read and write speeds. I'll get back after this is complete. It has been successfully completed. In order to install DPNOS along with Windows, we need to create an empty partition. So for that, head over to the start and search for create and format hard disk partitions. Just open it. In this screen, you can create a partition on the disk which has more free space. So I will select this one and right click and select shrink. In the dialog, Enter the desired amount which you want to give to your DPN OS. The minimum recommended space would be more than 20 GB. Now you can just click on shrink and your free space will be created. Now we can just move to the next step which is the installation part. For that, reboot your system. Now go to the boot menu. Here select the pen drive which you have just flashed with DPN OS and just press enter. In the grub bootloader screen, select the first one and press enter. It will take some time and you'll see installation after that. Now select the language and click next. Here just click on advanced and select the free space. Now click on this button to create a new partition and in the dialog box give around 4 GB of space and just click on swap partition in the file system and just click create partition. Again. Click on the create partition button and this time allocate 300 MB of space and for the file system select EFI and then create partition. Now we have to create the root partition here no need to allocate any space and in the mount point select backward slash and now create the partition. Since the partition is done we can proceed with the installation. Now click next and continue and the installation will start. It would take around 10 to 15 minutes or even more depending on your system's configuration. So I'll be back after it is done. Now just click on reboot now. In the grub menu, select the DPN OS and press enter. Now you'll be asked to set up your system. So I'll not be wasting my time in that. I'll be back in a gist. So we have successfully installed the DPN OS. You can explore this and write down your impressions of this OS in the comments below. Finally, we have reached the end of this video. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe to this channel and enable post notifications so that you won't miss any upcoming videos. So with that said, let's meet in the next one.